guess uh, on YouTube it automatically connects. You don't have to go go live. Hit the go live button. Um, looks like my mic is working. Got two viewers. Hello, welcome everyone to my live stream. Uh, today's topic is uh, the Jaxis drag slash. I'll give you folks my uh, initial reaction. <clears throat> so I received an email yesterday from Traxxas. I'm pretty sure everybody else did. If you're subscribed to it, Traxxas, um, <clears throat> to the newsletter, uh, I guess this Traxxas drag slash is the next greatest RC to be released this coming May, 2021. Um, so yeah, I think in my live stream, I said the slash is like one of the most popular chassis that Traxxas has ever created. And, um, it is the, and every chassis after the slash is pretty much the, that's where the concept comes from. Um, Summit, e -Revo, X Max, I even think the Rustler, um, yeah, it, I mean, the, the, it may not look exactly alike, but it is a concept. Um, that's where they got the concept for all their, all their other RCs, um, the X01. So this will be my initial reaction. Um, I'm going to go hit up their website, see if I can get more information on this, uh, Traxxas drag slash quickest on the street available May, 2021. So that's, uh, within well, less than a couple months. Oh, here we are. Here I am at the the website. <clears throat> so, quickest on the street drag slash available May 2021. Speed, power, performance, innovation. These are the hallmarks of every Traxxas model and an unbeatable combination for radio control excellent or radio control excitement. Soon you'll experience them in a new way with the 1967 Chevrolet 610 Big window short bed riding on the drag slash chassis. It's much more than a slash for the streets. The 610 drag truck is unlike anything else in the no prep scene. It's a combination of innovative straight line speed and performance, outstanding scale realism and legendary versatility and durability of the world beating slash with some big new surprises. It's a machine engineered to perform at the highest level and equipped so Every driver at any skill level can race with confidence and have fun going fast on the street or at the strip. More details coming soon. Traxxas engineered to exceed your expectation. Um, if you want more info, you can sign up to their um, or subscribe to their newsletter. Um, so it is an officially licensed product by GM Motors. Uh, yeah, when I first saw the picture, I knew there was some kind of Chevy, 1960 Chevy. Uh, pickup truck body. You can see the wheelie bars at the, uh, on the rear, uh, and the spoiler right on the top of the end of the bed. Pretty interesting. So, <clears throat> since it's a slash, I'm assuming it's a one tenth scale. <laughs> Didn't say the one tenth scale. So, uh, I'm assuming if it's a ready to run, it, it's gonna have uh, some kind of Traxxas 100 amp ESC. Um, KV will probably be in the five to seventy-five hundred range, uh, or five fifty thousand to seventy-five thousand KV range for the uh, brushless motor. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Tank RC, yo, how are you tonight? I'm doing great, Tank. Hope all is well with you. So <clears throat> yeah, drag slash. Um, I, th I think drag racing uh, and RC in particular is probably like the fastest growing um, sport in RC right now. I, it, it has, I'm pretty sure it has blown up in the last couple of years or even the last year. I think a lot of people who have been doing speed runs have converted doing speed runs to drag racing. I know drag racing, RC drag racing has been been going ever since I started my channel, but it hasn't been that it hasn't grown in popularity as much as it did in the last couple of years, I would say. Green Frog RC just add a cap and it will look like farm truck. Evening I rock and tank. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's pretty interesting that Traxxas picked this particular body for the, a drag slash. Um, but I guess because it's a slash and slash is known to be a you know a short course um, chassis. So I guess that's why they went with the truck. Yeah, I'm not too sure unless that's the only license they could get. But I you know I don't. I think this is probably their first licensed um, RC body. I could be wrong, but yeah, I think this is probably the first one. I could be wrong. <laughs> but I think this is like the, the direct um, competitor to the low C 110. Is it the 69 Camaro? Hey, Clockwood. Nice to see you too, my friend. Yes, yeah, so I think. Yeah, so it, it, the 69, the 69 low C, right? The 110, the low C 110, 69 Camaro drag. Um, let me go look it up. I think it's the, yeah. I think that one is priced at $399, ready to run. Uh, three A's capable. Low C Camaro. Camaro drag. OC 1969 Camaro 22S no prep drag car. Let's see. Do we have a direct low C site? Yes, we do. All right. So here we are. Yeah, well, here am I. <laughs> So <clears throat> this is the low C version. Um, MSRP is four hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Available for three hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents at your participating retailer. Green Fog RC, TRX and Fortex have licensed bodies. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know Fortex has one. Oh, I didn't know the TRX four was licensed. Um, yeah, I stood. Okay, yeah, the four GT I think is the one of the licensed ones. Uh, thanks for the info, Green Frog. And so. <clears throat> see features or should we go overview first the overview you want to check out the video street dreams are made of this setting the standard in the industry for years the low c 1969 camaro drag car is the most competitive no prep drag racing ready to run with the popularity of no prep drag racing exploding uh, it definitely is exploding Losi has once again taken it to the next level with the truly innovative design and quality workmanship drivers expect. The 69 Camaro has been carefully crafted to give a classic look while still fitting into the rules and regulations set by the no prep drag racing scene. How many folks are here into drag racing? <laughs> Don't be shy. Put your hands up. <laughs> uh, where, where did I left off? 69 has been carefully crafted to give a classic look still fitting into the rules and regulations. It has all the advantages of an aluminum chassis. Okay, so aluminum, which is which makes sense because you're going in a straight line and you're not going around the track or doing any cornerings. Um, such as electronics protection, side impact guards, and a clean wire management system, and with plenty of 22S option parts. It's designed with, racer, with racers in mind, with many outstanding features, including official licensed Mickey Thompson tires. Okay, so, uh, oh, they're going with going fully licensed here, not only just the 69 Camaro body, but also the Mickey Thompson tires, uh, limited travel oil field, front and rear shocks, which makes sense because you're just going in a straight line, um, low center of gravity, rear shock tower, extended body mounts, optional heavy duty sway bar, adjustable weight front bumper, elevated transmission, adjustable turnbuckles, and a fully adjustable wheelie bar. You get an all metal gear transmission for concrete de dependability, along with a Spectrum SLTR transmitter and dual protocol receiver, Spectrum Firma 100 amp smart ESC, and Spectrum Firma 6500 KB brushless motor. Okay, that makes sense, 6500. I was thinking 50,000 to 75,000 KB motor, brushless motor. Uh, from its unmistakable body to rapid handling, everything about the low C1969 Camaro drag car is ready to provide racing thrills like nothing else. Wow. So, okay, so it's available right now, I think. Is it? Buy now? Buy now? Buy now? It's not pre-order, right? <laughs> I thought this, no, it's coming out in May 2021. It's the same as the Slash. 
Okay, so I guess you're pre-ordering it. You can pre-order. Anyone put in their pre-order? <laughs> so basically, it's pretty much set up. It's pretty much what the overview say. Chassis callout. Plus, that's it's aluminum, so it gives you that you know. Because you're just going straight line, so uh, aluminum is great. That way, uh, it's the power is easy transferred from um, the battery to the AC uh, to the motor, and then eventually to the wheels, especially the uh, rear slick wheels. Uh, if it, if it was rubber chassis, you had too much. It would just create too much flex and the energy would just bounce back and forth. So you won't get the full power to the wheels instantly. Um, so a spectrum from 100 amp ESC, is this uh, a constant? Or I think usually when they, they give you the amp rating, it's like the max amp it can um, hold at burst or full throttle. I mean, I could be wrong. So 6,500 kb. So this is they said this is a 3s, right? 3s, 2s to 3s. I'm I'm assuming because 6,500 doesn't even say on the motor. Okay. Features All right there. Needed to complete two to three s lipo battery with. One EC, one C five EC five connector, so two to three S. So if you was to run a three S, this guy in a 6,500 6, kV, you you would get about eighty two thousand RPMs, and that would probably draw about hundred amps, close to hundred amps. So it's it's well thought out, well balanced, when in regards to um, ESC and motor output, in regards to amp and RPMs. Um, so basically, 100 amps, you you could run a 100C battery with 100 milliamps, which is perfect for drag racing because I think that, how long is the, how's the, how long is the track? Maybe about one second, <laughs> start to finish. Um, I don't think more than two seconds. So I can, yeah, I can 100C, 100 milliamps or 50C, 200, two, oh, not 100 milliamps. 100C, 1000 milliamps, uh, LiPo battery, 3S, uh, or you could go 50C, 200 milliamps, or 2000 milliamps, uh, 3S. I think 1000 milliamps, uh, 100C, if you can get a 1000 milliamps, 100C battery, that'd be perfect because um, less weight than a 2000 milliamp. So it would make big difference. You probably get, uh, you, you, Faster or quicker top speed, which I'll reach top speed a lot quicker and faster. Talking like Yoda backwards. Hey Brandon, how's it going, my friend? So yeah, three ninety nine. So this is basically like kind of a um, an entry level drag racing Camaro. So this is like, this is the direct competitor to um, the Traxxas Drag Slash. I'm pretty sure that the Traxxas is gonna probably have the same type of ESC. 100 amp ESC and the KV is probably going to be this, the motor and uh, KV is going to pretty much be the same. Uh, I'll be shocked if Traxxas has aluminum chassis because they're not known for aluminum. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. Uh, that'll probably be, I would say that if they do come up with an aluminum slash chassis, that'll probably be the first in their history. First ever aluminum chassis um, out of the box stock, you know. So did didn't like uh, <clears throat> Arma have a didn't Arma have a no prep drag too? Look that up. There you go. No, that's the, that's not it. It's the limitless. But you could have drag race the limitless. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see it. <clears throat> I 
I don't, yeah, so I don't think they have one um, specifically for drag racing. <clears throat> I think this arm of felony is probably the closest thing to uh, you could use for drag racing. How much do you think it'll be? The Traxxas Drag Slash? I, I would say it'll be very competitive with uh, low C. Um, I think, yeah, knowing what, what is the tra uh, Slash go for right now? Two wheel drive is two ninety nine, ready to run. Two hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, ready to run. And I think it goes. I think the the most expensive Slash four wheel drive is four hundred four hundred ninety nine ninety nine. So I, yeah, you look. I think you're looking. I would say not more than $499.99. Um, probably the lowest they'll probably go is $399.99. But I think that's, it depends if it's an aluminum chassis. If, they, if it's an aluminum chassis, then I think you'll see, it, I'm pretty sure it'd be $499. But uh, if they want to be competitive with Losi, I think they're going to, you know, $399.99 just to compete with Losi and pretty much that's the direct competition. Okay, so I, I was wrong. I, Arma doesn't have a like a Pacific um, drag racing car. I couldn't find it. I think this is the closest thing, right? The felony 6S BLX or well, 17 felony 6S BLX street bash all road muscle car ready to run black $649.99. Um, <clears throat> so, but this is a 17 scale. So it, it, it's not a direct competition with the Traxxas Slash or Drag Slash or the low C 69 Camaro. So. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, RC Drag Racing, I think from watching old videos, no more than yeah, maybe one, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Yeah, not even two, two seconds. <clears throat> I mean, it, it is a short track and it's electric, so um, pff, real, real quick down the track. So you don't blink your eyes, you know. And I think they had the, uh, they just had that, uh, um, what do they call it? Um, that big drag race event in Las Vegas. Um, I think the. I don't know if the prize pool or the grand prize was eighteen thousand dollars. Entry fee is a hundred dollars, and it's like uh, it was a one-time, like one shot. It's like so, if you lose, you're out. <laughs> no losers bracket. So if you lose your first race, you're you're out one hundred dollars. I want the Corvette body for the felony more than a drag car, and I don't even have a felony. <clears throat> Yeah, I, yeah, this felony looks pretty awesome, man. I, I, six, you know, one seven street bash muscle car. Uh, I can imagine what the Corvette look like. Is it is it the new Corvette body? I mean, probably looks awesome. It probably looks awesome. So yeah, How, yeah. So yeah, hundred dollars entry fee. Yeah, if, once you lose, you're out. I don't know how, how many days event it was. Um, sorry if I'm talking like Yoda, but you know, things going backwards, but sometimes. <laughs> it, I know it was an all day event. I'm looking at some highlights. Um, they started, it was, it started in the morning and they end up at night, still going at night. Oh, crazy place to have it though, Las Vegas. Oof, you can lose, not only lose a hundred bucks just racing, but you can lose a lot more than <laughs> just gambling alone. Not only just gambling, but you know all kind of different uh, activities in Las Vegas. Uh, used to live in Las Vegas for a year. I should know. Oh uh, yeah, big brands was there. I think every single big brand RC was there. I know Tekken was there. Uh, pretty sure yeah, Low C, Traxxas, uh, you name it. I think I was mostly seeing. I don't know if they had like gas or nitro um, drag racing at that event. Uh, what was it called? Does anybody know what it was called? 
I know it's no, there is no prep. No, what is it? No, no prep. No prep jag something, huh? No? That's what they call it, no prep. Why is it, why is it called no prep? No prep. Is it no prep drag racing? Yeah, it's, that's what RC drag racing call it is. No prep drag racing. So it's no prep meaning you, you just um, turn on your ESC and go. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can't tune it, right? But, but if it lets you, you, you don't have to tune it. I mean, it's like it's not like gas because gas. Uh, if you if you're drag racing with gas, uh, if you're drag racing with uh, gas or combustion engine, even like doesn't matter if uh, if it's drag racing or even track racing or any type of racing and combustion, you know, you have to factor in elevation, um, the weather, um, the climate, which is weather. So yeah, I mean, especially elevation factors in the big in uh, very big and combustion engine because the closer you are to sea level, uh, the more oxygen and the more oxygen, you know, you have, uh, for a special combustion, you know, the more power it can generate. And then the higher the elevation, the less oxygen, um, there is in the atmosphere. So the car might not run as well as it is in higher elevation versus lower elevation. Yeah, no prep drag racing or oh, no prep RC drag racing. And the last Le Las Vegas event was called. What do you have? Like a hundred horse? What is hundred oh, horsepower wars? Ten k jack shootout season three no prep. That must be an old one. What is it called? What is the Las Vegas event called? You know, Pep Jag Race in Las Vegas. Oh, King of the Streets 2021. That's what it was called. A couple cool videos here. I would share them, but you know, I don't know about uh, YouTube's uh, copyright <laughs> in regards to uh, sharing videos, live stream. Yeah, well, yeah one and done. There goes a hundred bucks if you lose your first race. Well, big squid RC was there covering when they were racing. When they were being the winner, does it say who ended up being the winner? Well, who won the 18K? That's a lot of money, man. Hey, over the weekend, a huge no prep RC drag racing event was held in Las Vegas, Nevada by RC Drag Talk. Um, I should share with you folks. Huh? Here, so this is from Big Squid RC. Over the weekend, a huge no prep RC drag racing event was held in Las Vegas, Nevada, by RC Drag Talk and NPRC. I guess it's no prep racing RC, right? No, no prep radio control. The event was called King of the Streets 2021, and one of their major event sponsors was Tekken. Watch below to see a bunch of action last from last weekend, where the winner took home over. 18,000 in cash. So the winner take, took home over 18,000 in cash. Oh my God. I better get on it. <laughs> I better get into this no prep drag racing. Uh, no prep RC drag racing has really taken off in the last two years. I guess I was right. The last two years. I just said two years, right? Two years. I said, especially in the past year. And the King of Streets is by far the most prestigious event on the drag racing calendar. We can't wait to see how big this event gets next year. Oh my God. And this is during COVID-19. So uh, next year is probably going to even get bigger if uh, they get this whole COVID-19 all, all straightened out or situated. Damn. Oops. Sorry for my language. But uh, yeah, 18,000. Wow. I better get, get on it. I'll give a pre-order that tracks this uh, drag slash. What do you think, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Wilson, how you doing? I'm doing great, Thomas. How about you? Hope everything's going well in your neighborhood. Armin, Jesus, Morera, Buon Noite. That good night. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, Aman, oh, Aman, Jesus, Morera. You know, 
Hispanic uh, way of saying it. Muy bien. ¿Y tú? So, oh, 18,000 for the, the winner. But I guess this is electric, right? All electric. $100, $18,000 price. And it, so they would have to at least have, I mean, just to cover the prize alone, 180 uh, entries or participants, uh, probably more than that. So 250 to break even for the event. I would say they probably had about at least 1,000 participants. <laughs> so they made money on this event, easy. 1,000, easy 1,000 participants. I don't, I'm not too exactly sure how many, probably more than 1,000, I, I would assume. Dang. I guess that's why a lot of that's why you see all these big brand name RC manufacturers getting into drag racing. I mean, yeah, yeah, it must have grown, exploded within the past couple of years. It's probably gonna take uh, over scaling, rock crawling. To me, I think the most popular right now is uh, scaling and rock crawling, RC. And number two is bashing, and then three can categorize it in um, just racing in general. Um, that's include track racing and drag racing. I think in probably a year from now, it, it may it, I appreciate it be number two, overtake uh, any type of racing and bashing. And maybe two years it'll probably overtake scaling and rock crawling. <laughs> but I don't think. Drag racing is big internationally. I don't know what you folks think, more my international viewers out there. Um, I know drag racing is very big in the United States. It always has been, even with, you know, real scale uh, drag racing. I don't think drag racing in general is big internationally. I think, you know, skating or trailing or, you know, very big internationally. Ah oh, man, so man, I better start prepping or well, no prep, right? I better start prepping for this uh, next the next event next year, King of the Streets, eighteen thousand dollar cash money, <laughs> cash prize. It might be up to twenty five thousand. <laughs> that that would be so insane. Yeah, I think this is this is like a lot easier event to I guess to uh, organize compared to. Um, Track events, or even you know scaling, rock crawling. All you need is a flat surface, and you're good to go. Just a couple of tents. I wonder what is the most popular drag racing RC right now. Like, what is the D must have right now besides you know the drag slash and the um, low C sixty nine Camaro. The Camaro makes more sense than the the Chevy body, the Chevy truck body. But you know, Jacks is they're 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 big for for you know they must be doing something right. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool and amazing. Well, you know, a drag race could, could like, have a downward spiral. One or two years ago, you know, it could either go keep continue going up, or it could go. Um, it could lose its, uh, you know, its popularity. You know, everything, you know, comes and goes. They are using bandit ch chassis with certain bodies. Oh, nice. Why, why the bandit? 
Probably because it's cheaper, huh? And then you just do the mods. So I take it, it doesn't say, I'm assuming this is a 110 scale event and nothing bigger, 1-8, I mean for this King of the Streets 2021. Or does it really matter, you know? Short wheelbase. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you're not going to do any cornering or turning, so wheelbase doesn't factor in that much. Especially, you know, basically, most important thing is getting the, the power to the wheels and traction, you know. I mean, you can, you can have the most powerful uh, setup, but if you can't get the power to the wheels or you can't get traction, you just burn out and be stuck on the finish line. <laughs> you know who would be a, a a good person to talk to about the jack racing is uh brett uh, az uh froggy rc i know he does jack racing does a lot of drag racing i'm not too sure why is he um into jack racing rc drag racing i'm not i know he said he you know he can't do certain things due to his uh um you know some health issues but um you know, I think this would be perfect for him, you know, because you don't have to stand or for that yeah, for extended period of time. You know, like I said, at the most, you probably, like, I don't know, wait time, five, ten minutes. The race is only going to last not more than five seconds. That's why they're using the banded chassis. Let me, let me go look up banded chassis. <laughs> it's been a while. It's like a, I'm like a newbie or knob. Like, oh, you can that that chassis, just the chassis in itself is only twenty dollars, twenty to twenty five dollars. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Look, check out his eBay one. This is eBay, $936.99 for this Chaxxas Bandit VXL Complete Chassis Kit Roller. What? <laughs> and he sold 50 plus. That's crazy. That is totally insane. Why is it that much? Here, let me share with you folks. You guys want to buy a Bandit Chassis? Here you go, $936.99. Roller. <laughs> Last one, 52 sold on eBay. Okay, what's so special about this bandit trash? Why is it $936.99? <laughs> New traction bandit at VXL complete chassis kit also included is a small screw set, tools, body pins, and optional pinion gear. Counted all you see picture, great for building or for spare parts. Chassis will be partially disassembled for shipping purposes. Okay, nothing really. Damn, he sold 52 of them. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I guess you're right, Clockwood. You know, the, it's probably the pop most sought after sought ah sought sought after chassis. Um, but is it like discontinued or something? Proline website. Let's go check it out. Proline. Oh, what is this? No, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> Charge C. Oh, here we go. Pro line racing. Guess it's pro line racing, not just pro line. For 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 the Traxxas Bandit. Do I just type in Traxxas Bandit? Or do I put drag? 
Oh, check out this Corvette. Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, look at that Chevy Nova. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then you have a 1972 Chevy C10 clear body for drag racing. Cause using a no prep drag racing to win 18k. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to win that 18k, my friend. You have a 1972 Plymouth Barracuda clear body, 1978 Chevrolet Malibu clear body, 1985 Chevrolet Camaro I Rock Z clear body. Oh, that's definitely mine. No. <laughs> oh, it's out of stock. That is out of stock. Chevrolet Corvette. Oh, nice. It's like. So you have a Super J Pro Mod clear body. Or you have a Pro Series 32 pitch transmission for the slash or stampede. Or you have Rustler and Bandit slash discontinued. Crazy, huh? So now <laughs> that that just goes to show the popularity. Uh, how big uh, drag racing has become and the price that people are willing to pay. I mean, geez, yeah, it's crazy. And tires, let me check like drag racing. Got under, let me go to drag racing. Oh, yeah. You got some big daddy wide drag slicks for the rear, I'm assuming. Oh, it's out of stock. Oh, a lot of out of stock. Yeah, it, man. Must have been because of that event. Oh, back in stock soon. <laughs> this one is out of stock too. Back in stock soon. $30. Or is that for a pair? 2.2s. Go to the next. Oh, just the wing. Yeah, I don't I don't see the <clears throat> C eight. They have a Chevrolet Corvette C seven. Oh, that's crazy. Look at 32P transmission right here. $129.95. It's like it's on sale. List price is $144.95. Due to enlarge. Yeah, this thing looks pretty, pretty cool. I mean, it's basically just you know like the the rustler transmission, thirty two pitch. This is a nice uh, close-up shot of the you know, prep Jag Racing rear. Stampede tool drive. Click on stuff for picks. So I, I guess this is specifically made and designed for drag racing. This Pro Series 32 pitch transmission for a slash tool drive and electric stampede tool drive. So because yeah, I guess drag racing is gonna it's mostly two wheel drive, so I'm 
I think that uh, Traxxas Drag Slash is probably going to be priced more at the $399.99 range. I think not more than $399.99 because it's going to be a two-wheel drive. And I I'm just guessing. Yeah, it's a lot for a transmission. Looks pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's you know, it looks pretty uh, pretty well made. It's like a uh, high quality plastic. Looks like you get a fifty five tooth spur gear. So I'm assuming the Jag Racing is more you know, lean more on the torque side, the low end side than you know the top end. I have to start building me a Jaxxas Bandit uh, Jack Racing <laughs> and and enter that uh, <laughs> enter that enter that, <laughs> enter that uh, Las Vegas uh, no prep drag event next year. Go win me some eighteen thousand dollar cash. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, maybe we should, I should set up like a Hawaii event, yeah? I think even if like you, you do a $50 entry fee and like $10,000 uh, prize money, I think you, you you may be able to make a big event. And, you know, I live close to a, um, closer to a, a sea level elevation. So, well, this is a lecture, so it doesn't really matter. No. <laughs> Let me, read, let me read this description. This is a pre-built Pro Series 32-pitch transmission for a slash two-wheel drive and electric stampede two-wheel drive. Proline is finally ready to release the highly anticipated follow-up to the original Proline performance transmission. The new Pro Series 32-pitch transmission Proline engineers made sure to carry over all the things from the original that made it the most popular and love upgrade to your slash two-wheel drive. While making it even stronger and more capable of handling today's extreme power systems. Whether you are racing or bashing, this transmission is designed to become the ultimate performance upgrade for your truck. Pre-assembled and installed and go. Proline has done the work of done the work for you and pre-assembled the transmission to get up and to get you up and running faster. Just install and go. The seal differential has been pre-filled with grease but can be tuned with op optional diff oil not included. To suit your application. The updated racing style slipper system has been preset for proper performance and can be adjusted to dial in your initial takeoff traction. 32 pitch spur and steel internal gears. Stripping our gears is a thing of the past with the included 32 pitch 56 tooth spur gear. Choose the right 32 pitch pinion gear for your application between 10 and 18 tooth. So yeah, it's more geared for uh, higher torque, low end, or normal 540 size motors and run your truck with complete confidence. All the internal gears inside the transmission are made from hardened steel to handle all the power you want to put down. <clears throat> updated transmission case with solid bumper mount. The Pro Series transmission features an updated transmission case designed to be stronger and handle more abuse. The aluminum motor mount is secured to the case and three screws before the clear gear cover is installed. A solid rear bumper mount is included with mounting holes that match the stock locations for the endless bumper and wheelie bar attachments option. 3 millimeter thick aluminum motor plate, full ball bearings, and awesome features. There are so many other awesome features that make ProLine's performance transmission a must-have. The motor mounts to a 3 millimeter thick aluminum motor plate that has been blue anodized with the laser etch P-L logo and acts as a huge heat sink to keep your motor cool, motor running cool. High quality ball bearings are used throughout the transmission and the differential spins are huge 10 millimeter by 16 millimeter by five millimeter ball bearings for incredible load capability. The tow block is molded 
into the case has for added strength. The hardened steel outdrive shafts will accept the stock axles as well as the aftermarket CVDs or drive shafts that you might already have for your vehicle. ProLine's performance transmission is the ultimate upgrade for your slash. Tool drive electric stampede. Tool drive be the first at your track or bash spot to take down the competition with your ProLine upgraded slash or stampede. Order up your performance transmission today. Okay, so here's new content for my channel, folks. Um, so this, I will start my journey um, to build a uh, no prep drag, RC drag racing for that uh, Las Vegas event next year. <laughs> so hopefully you folks follow along my journey with this no prep drag racing. Maybe I should start from ground zero, scratch, just get a uh, Bandit chassis for nine hundred thirty-six dollars and ninety-nine cents at e on eBay, <laughs> or I could just you know, I I think I think it's why it's so expensive. I, I'm pretty sure it's hard to find like that, uh, like the Traxxas TRX4 unassembled kit. So let's go to um, A Main Hobbies. So if you go to A Main Hobbies, and then in search you'll type in Traxxas. Uh, we'll allow, we'll allow it for now. Cause everything on, tr on this website, everything is all sold out. So, <clears throat> so here you have the Traxxas slash 4x4 VXL brushless 110 photo drive ready to run short course. It's priced at three seventy nine ninety five. So uh, this is a 4x4. So uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be no more, the drag slash is going to be no more than $399.99. And probably no less than two hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents if it's ready to run. They, hopefully, they might sell the kit version, but who knows? Tracks is in kits. I don't think so. So, do you have this roster here? Expected March twenty eighth. So, yeah, this slash right here sold out. Everything's pretty much that is a slash is like it's all sold out. Expect expected March eighteenth. Expected April first. Here's a, you have the Fortec, the Ford GT body, license. Gen Auto Slash, available in stores, so sold out online. online. Okay, and then now you, you reach in the, <clears throat> everything sold out. <laughs> Page, well, you can get a 4x4, see, but see, nobody wants the 4x4, so that's why the 4x4 is available. Everybody wants the 2x4, I mean the two-wheel drive. So the two-wheel drive over here, you go Bandit. $149.95. <laughs> Ready to run. <laughs> XL. That's cheap. Man. So pretty much, like, see, it looks tracks slash tool drive. Sold out. Rustler sold out. Another wrestler sold out, four wheel drive though. <clears throat> Rustler, hmm. hey, yeah, interesting. Wrestlers are sold out. Who'd have thought it? Huh? Wrestlers are that popular. <laughs> yes, Rustler, another Rustler sold out. Now, you, now you're going into pretty much everything back ordered or sold out territory. Wheelie bars, no. Sold out. Uh, yeah, so I guess Traxxas tool drive chassis, is, I think it's hard to come by. I guess that guy, that guy has it priced at $936.99 on eBay because you can't find it anywhere. Pretty much you can't find it. I didn't really take a hard look or hard search. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Poline website shows different setups with new gearbox because using an OPREP drag racing to win 18k so 52 crazy. I read all that. Yeah, ridiculous price, but picks are telling definitely. That was the band. The first version transmission is good, but you can make uh, an RPM just as good. Okay, he set that up. I'll get a drag car. <laughs> <laughs> it's how they should have made it in the first place. Look at the carbon fiber chairs before you buy that one laughing aloud. <laughs> uh, chassis. Yeah, yeah. Um, in drag racing, you definitely want a stiffer chassis. 
um, because it just, you know, it allows you to get more power to the wheels quicker and faster than a plastic, where plastic is, there's more flex in the chassis or more twists. Aluminum, it reduces the flex and the twist. So all that energy just can, you know, transfer to the to the wheel tires and wheels a lot quicker and faster. And, and you know, basically that's the main purpose of drag racing is to, uh, you know, <clears throat> it's how you transfer the, you know, the power to the tires and wheels and, you know, and your traction is, determines whether you're going to win or lose in that, uh, that race. Yeah, so drag racing, man. 18K, I think next year it's probably going to be at least 20K. What do you think? 20K prize money? First place? <laughs> first place prize money? I'm pretty sure it is. First place prize money. So, Clockwood, have you been drag racing? Or have you built one? I think carbon fiber is the way to go too because you still have that, you know, you still have that strength and it's lightweight compared to aluminum. Hmm. A lot of ideas going around in the head. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is because, like I say, you know. Once you lose traction because it's slick wheels, you know, you can lose a lot of traction and crash right into the wall or wherever, do flips. <clears throat> yeah, so that, that it would, man, just, just to have a reason to call Las Vegas, whether win or lose, you know, just have fun, meet up with all the, you know, with all like the fellow RCers there, you know. Fellow viewers, fellow subscribers, it'd be a, it'd be pretty cool. I think that's something I, I might have to look into, uh, making a trip to Las Vegas. Hopefully, you know, um, things go back to normalcy. No, no, no. What are you waiting for, man? You get an opportunity to win 18K. <laughs> so what, what do you folks think would be the perfect, <clears throat> the perfect price point for this uh, Tractors Drag Slash? Oh, that'd be cool, but yeah, VW bug, yeah, going back to the classics there. Wide slash with wheelie bar and VW bug buddy. <clears throat> and if you had a choice between the low C 69 Camaro versus this uh, Traxxas drag slash, would, would you think you would prefer getting? <clears throat> I think the low C. Uh, Camaro, 69 Camaro looks pretty cool. Not really sold on the truck, but I guess you always could change out the body. Like Clock, uh, Clockwood said, you know, VW Bug, yeah. Kings of, uh, the king of the quarter mile.
Okay, so <clears throat> that's basically <clears throat> a quick look or first initial reaction to the track says drag slash. In my opinion, it all depends on the price. I think the ideal price would be ready to run version, $399.99. But it all depends on electronics. I wonder if you uh if you have to disable TSM or AVC when you drag race. So yeah, $299.99. It's gonna come out this May. So I I have a couple months to debate whether I should get one or not. have to uh, think of the setup but yeah let me know what you folks think uh traxis or losi in the comments below that's what i turned my slash into no drag car though <clears throat> and also wanted to uh, share some updates with you folks um, in regards to my channel i think in my last live stream i just Discuss about the uh, um, Iraq merchandise. So it's in the planning stage. I have um, actually ordered not only uh, Iraq t shirts, but also Iraq polo shirts. Um, but I only ordered like the prototypes. So it's in production. And I should get those. Uh, hopefully, I get get the shirt and the polo shirt in two weeks, and I'll share with you folks. And if I like um, how it turned out, the material, the design of the logo, uh, then I'll put in a big order. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna do a merchandise giveaway to my subscribers. Um, initially, I'm thinking about at least to 50 the first 50 subscribers who. Probably do a video, do an unboxing video on the, on the shirts, and then take pre-requests. Um, I'm gonna try to at least 50 50 requests. Uh, if I can do more, then I'll probably try to do more, but um, not make any promises or any uh, guarantees. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta see how much is gonna you know set me back. Watch Harley's video on the carbon fiber chassis. I definitely will. <clears throat> All right, speaking of videos, um, before I discuss my um, merchandise and t-shirts and polo shirts, and because I'm talking about drag racing, you know, I, um, I think I think the most viewed RC video that I've uh, that I've come across, I could be wrong. Um, is um, fellow YouTuber uh, Boda Gel. I know he does a lot of drag racing, he especially does a lot of uh, uh, gas and nitro engine RCs. And he he, he has that one video uh, the, with the Traxxas X Max, oh, Traxxas X Max, Traxxas X Max versus the low C8 T Truggy nitro engine. Uh, it's drag racing. And I think that one has about not making a, about 50, 50 million views, and I think that's the most viewed um, RC video. I could be wrong. I, I know that's the most I seen uh, myself personally. I think that has over fifty million views. That's a lot for an RC video. And I think both the gel. I think he's. Uh, I think he's. I. I think at least hundred thousand subscribers. Could be more. Um, the last I checked, but yeah, for fifty million, man, that's that's I me. Mean, that goes to show you how how big um, drag racing has become. I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's not, I think that's something that I have to look into getting myself into drag racing, going up, flying up to Las Vegas and racing at these events. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. Pretty awesome, you know. I don't think I had a. I don't think any of my videos have hit at least a million. But it's all good. But yeah, in regards to yeah, so um, 
hopefully in a couple of weeks I have um, the t-shirt and the polo shirt um, I should receive the uh, t-shirt and polo shirt um, see its quality how, see how it turns out and if I really like it then I'll put in a big order for at least 50 and then I'll give those away to my subscribers like I said it's probably become first request first come first serve uh, if I can do more if I could if I could fulfill everybody then I'll probably try to fulfill all the requests but like I said I'm not making any promises or guarantees um, I, but um, and then also looking for a um, so share your folks like this is a Right now I'm working on the the hat. Here's a mock-up of the Irox, um, um, Irox, Irox hat. And they also, they also get uh, send me an email on the um, prototype. There's a snapback, a uh, flex fit. Um, that's what I requested. Not too clear on the live stream. So that is a IROC logo. And then it should have the IROC um, name on the back of the hat. And this is another version that I'm looking at. I might do both versions. So I'm, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do giveaways on the hats. Uh, definitely do giveaways on the t-shirt. The yeah, like I said, it all depends. So I'm not too sure when um, when the hats will be um, sent to me or when they'll be, be put in production, but that's something I'm looking into. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing something special to say thank you to you, to my fellow subscribers who stuck with me, especially this past three years, especially for those who stuck with me from day one or the I just made seven years on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> I think I made it, uh, I think it March 14 and March 15, a couple days ago. Or yesterday, I think. Made seven years. So, seven years on YouTube, That's that, I think that's a big accomplishment. Um, I thought I would just be doing it for three to five years, but I'm still stuck here doing it. <laughs> I don't plan on going away anytime soon. Um, so, I, I know there's a lot of like guys like, you know, Subscribers like Clockwood, Tank RC, Green Frog RC, Brandon, Thomas Wilson, Aman Jesus Morera. Uh, I know, especially Clockwood, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't want to sing about Clockwood, but you, you've been you've been one of the OGs, man. You've been there for a while. You've been a lot of you've been you know you 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 a very big participant on my channel. You know, a lot of comments. Yeah, you, you know, you, 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 so you definitely get in a shirt, my friend. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm working on that. I don't know how long it will take. Like I said, hopefully in a couple weeks, I can show you folks, uh, the, the prototype, uh, the t the t-shirt and the polo shirt, and then go from there. Um, after that, I'll take, you know, pre-requests. Pre pre requests uh, for the shirts and see how much requests I get, um, and if I can fulfill every single request, then I will. If not, I'm sorry. You know, budget is so limited. <laughs> I mean, I do have 19,000 subscribers, so you know, I definitely cannot fulfill 19,000. <laughs> but I'll only be getting maybe at least 100 views on my videos, so uh, only at the most 100 100. 100 pre-requests, which I probably can do. <laughs> I, I definitely know I can do a 50. Uh, I can give out 50 shirts. Uh, like I say, if I can give out more, then I tr I'll you know try to do my best. But like I said, no, I'm not making any promises, no guarantees. I know people requested in, in, my, uh, in my last uh, merchandise uh, giveaway. Um, and I, I wasn't able to fulfill every single one of you, but uh, hopefully you guys put in another request. Um, you know, too much things that just happened in my life that I couldn't fulfill those requests. I'm sorry for that. I apologize. You know, I do the best that I can. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm human. I, you know, I make mistakes. Um, I've learned that I shouldn't make any promises. 
on my channel. But I just wanted to let you folks out there to know, you know, I appreciate every single one of you, every single subscriber, every single viewer, whether or not you're subscribed to my channel or not. Uh, definitely, I appreciate Clockwood. He's always, you know, interacting on my channel. Oh, so, mean a lot to me, like Clockwood. I'm, I'm gonna go to you. Uh, I'm gonna go. You're gonna be my uh, information guy. <laughs> Just in case I miss anything in the RC world, you, you know, you definitely hit me up, man. So that's it for this live stream. Let me know what you folks think about the track sla drag slash. If you're gonna get one or not, get into drag racing or get the low C 69 Camaro uh, drag car. Um, or if you're gonna make plans to go to Las Vegas for that, uh, um, what was it called again? <laughs> no pep, no prep drag racing event. No prep RC drag racing event. In Las Vegas next year, maybe I see you folks there. Oh, King of the Streets 2021. So King of the Streets 2022. Maybe I see some of you there. Looks good, Lucky7. You're running and build videos are top notch from what I remember. Don't blame you for taking a break. Yeah, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Trying to do my best again to go out there. Uh, more build videos coming. In, uh, coming. In. More build videos in the future. Hopefully, hopefully I can get my hands on one. I'll probably, if I can't get a hand, my hands on the Tractors TRX4 to do a build video, I'll probably do a rebuild video on the on my uh, Tractors SCX10 2 chassis, with I, which I did the Vanquish products axles on and and. Uh, is that the drivetrain? Uh, put a lot of tracks. Uh, actually, I ordered a, a body for that SCX102 chassis and some cool accessories for it. So the whole goal is to make it really scale looking, and then go out there and do some run videos on it. Um, I should get that body in a month, sometime next month. Slow boat. <laughs> I wasn't gonna pay hundred dollars for shipping. That's for sure. So uh, being patient here, and that way I can do more uh, tracks X Max or uh, run videos. Um, look forward to a uh, run video, more run videos on tracks X Max, and then I'll probably do uh, in another live stream. I'll probably rank um, my top five RCs that I've owned and do a ranking on. The greatest of RCs of all time. Maybe do a top five greatest RC ranking of all time. So, um, uh, so if you guys want to uh, create your own list and do a debate on the greatest five RCs of all time on um, on the live stream that I'll do it on, and you definitely are welcome to, um, you know, give your thoughts and opinions on what is the greatest RCs of all time. Uh, if you disagree or agree with me, that's and you know, like I said, I'm open to debate. So you better bring your your A game on, <laughs> and prepare prepare to lose your debate. <laughs> uh, something I'm thinking of doing, and then I'm probably do more like inform informative live streams. Like if I receive emails from these manufacturers of up and coming new products, um, probably do that. Um, you know, give you folks informed on the RC world. I mean, even you, you folks can keep me informed on what's going on in the RC world, the community. That way I can, you know, keep up to date. Uh, you only can subscribe to so many RC manufacturers and they only can email you, you know, so. You're funny, I'll go to Hawaii, no Vegas for me, huh? I mean, yeah, maybe I, I can set up something from like a, King of the Street, uh, no prep, drag, RC drag racing in Hawaii event. <laughs> Maybe one day, who knows? And just because of the cost to come to Hawaii and the room and board, maybe instead of a hundred dollar uh, entry fee, maybe make it fifty bucks. All for fun. But yeah, that's it for this live stream. So, like I said, you know, do your homework, do your research, 
on your five greatest RCs of all time and get ready to debate with me on my versus my top five greatest RCs of all time. <laughs> Don't expect me to lose because I'm a, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> I'm definitely going to bring my A game. So hope you folks enjoy this live stream. And let me know if you're getting if you're getting if you're into drag racing or RC drag racing or you're planning to get the Traxxas Drag Slash or the Low C69 Camaro Drag RC. Uh, leave it in the comments below. So till my next live stream or my next video, take care and aloha. Shaka and I'm out.